The boys are going to go on adventure, maybe Have go back to jump. <laughs> Have a relaxing day. These are amazing vacation moments. Bunch of live wires. All I wanted was to go on a nice hike and drink my coffee, but they took me on a like a mountain steep climb. But the views are amazing. <laughs> And then we're playing the music really loud, so then <laughs> you're uh, you're you're yelling. I know. <laughs> Nobody listens to me, anyways. I'm proud to say that is the wrap for Fungicide 2020. Actually, we're gonna move the pump hose here and use it for a sample shot in our bin yard, just right behind us. back on the road this week and I have company and it's currently a Wrestlemania um, fight with dad hurt dad <laughs> but uh, we are uh, right outside Calgary we drove all day yesterday picked up a vehicle in Saskatoon then drove west drove through Drumheller stopped in there for a bite that was pretty cool and uh, then today I'm headed to Troshu and then Matt and the boys are going to go on adventure maybe have go back to drum <laughs> have a relaxing day maybe go back to Drumheller maybe go shopping maybe go more <laughs> uh, do some more water sliding so the kids are excited it's not even 9 a.m. and they're ready to go to the pool but uh, on the other hand it's nice that they join me because Matt and I were talking he hasn't had a break off the farm since November we went to Nova Scotia for another workation and uh, he joined me but yeah he hasn't really been off the farm since then so we were due for a family vacation some family time Matt might not agree this isn't a break for me <laughs> oh! Hit. how much further <laughs> done a lot of driving <laughs> We've been in the car for too long together too and we're only long. we're only really a little bit into our trip too we're going to true shoe they're gonna drop me off and then they're gonna go back hang out at the pool I'm sick. <laughs> because we, we go in spurts and then we don't really show what we're doing. Uh, so yesterday I was at the Thanks for Farming tour. I spoke, um, didn't take any pictures or any videos. Uh, Matt, you toured some service equipment dealers, went with the boys water sliding, went shopping, uh, didn't take any video. So they like Bass Pro Shops. You should have took a bunch of pictures there because it was nice. amazing. They had fish, they had everything. Yeah, the boys like Bass Pro shops. So now today, we are headed to see my auntie and uncle in Calgary. Headed to their house right, right now for a backyard coffee date. And then we're going to go to Bath. So, uh, promise that we'll take at least a couple pictures when we go to Bath. One or two. One or two. These are amazing vacation moments. Bunch of live wires. It's <laughs> fun. Two hours to get to Banff.
renting some kayaks. You're just going out in the water. Are you scared to go on a kayak? <laughs> Might drown. <laughs> Are you excited? Copeland? Jennings? We're doing that with your shirt, please. Are you uh, excited to go on a kayak? You and me together? Yeah. Yep. Do you want to have Good job, Jennings. Good job. Get the view. The kayak was worth it. So pretty. Fun? That was some hard work getting here, hey? Lost dad? Yeah, dad took off. Hi Copeland. Hi. <laughs> Daddy. My little paddler. Daddy. Hi, you want me? Was that awesome? It was so awesome. It was. I to listen to you. Row, row, row my boat. Row, row, row your boat. No, come on. Oh. Bumper boats. Bumper boats. Bumper boats. Bumper boats. Bumper boats. Bumper boats. <laughs> Daddy, they're beating you now. They're beating you. What did you buy? A bracelet. What did Copeland, what did you buy? Well, that. Okay, can you squeeze it for me? There you go. Put it on your wrist. Cool. What did you buy, Jenny? Is there any on the sale Bracelets? A bamp bracelets. There you go. Nicely done, Dad. That's what I'm here for. Can you get a fever too? I don't know what kind though. My beaver tail. It's good. Yeah! <laughs> Doughy goodness, I got the Oreo kind. The other thing I wasn't expecting was all the people that are here. Um, I heard that it was slower because uh, all the international people, all the tourists weren't here, but uh, it definitely felt like uh, we were not in a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, wall to wall, elbow to elbow. El yeah, it was really busy yeah. and lines everywhere. So, um, yeah, not really not what I was expecting. Still good, but not a little different than what we were thinking. So we hung out at the pool a lot. When we could get in. When we could get in. We had to wait in line for the pool too. When you go skiing, We're going to go in the gondola. going to go for a mountain ride. Do that. Dude, fast. Oh, it goes pretty slow, but we go all the way up. All the way up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dad, I don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. They put a diaper. Right. Oh, it's a little 
snow. I wonder if it's going to be bumpy. It's going to swing lots. Does this work on batteries? Let's go to a big electric motor. <laughs> Look at this. It's like going on a ride at Balls. No. The Disney World. You're scared now? Yeah. Do you see your vehicle? <gasps> Look at the mountains out there. There's a bus. I don't see the Oh, I see the vehicle. I see the diaper. <laughs> you see? <laughs> There's a diaper on the ground in the parking yeah, lot. Me too. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, phew. That's a bit. Oh, I'm scared. That sheep. <laughs> I would be walking up right now. Yeah, me too. The views are amazing. <laughs> And so is Copeland singing. <laughs> Purple going down. Okay. We can I just take a shortcut. We could use a go over A shortcut? You gotta go over there. Let's go off road then. Come this way, Copeland. Come on. Yeah, I am. Come on over. Back down we go. Back to reality. Did you like it? Fast, no. Does it go fast? Yeah. Hold on. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go. It goes really fast. Whoa. It actually doesn't go that fast. No way. That's scary. That's scary. Oh, don't forget. Super fast. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. I wish this was on our way down. Faster. Oh, super cold, eh? Not cold. No, you got the sunlight on you. Getting a suntan on your hand. Now we're on a hike. All I wanted was to go on a nice hike and drink my coffee, but they took me on a like a mountain steep climb. But the views are amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go take a photo. That's how we came. Right straight up. Our 18 hours in Bath was pretty good, hey? It was nice. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Lots of nice um, scenery. Other than just the flat prairies, which we love, but seeing the mountains is really nice. Variety. Change of scenery. And quality time with one another. And quality time with yeah. these two. We popped it. What? Turn right at the Grizzly Trail, Alberta, 33 yeah. North. Even though I'm on holidays, <laughs> I gotta get things done, right? So. Lots of phone calls. Well, <laughs> and then we're playing the music really loud, so then <laughs> you're uh, you're you're yelling. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nobody listens to me, anyways. Let me help you. I had a phone. We are uh, going to Barhead. So we went from well, Troshu, Calgary, Banff, back to Calgary, up to Edmonton, and now Barhead. And then uh, got two events today at Barhead, and then we're going to be going back home tomorrow. So then Matt can get back to farming. Can't hear me. Hey Derek, is Darcy there? <laughs> so what we've done a lot on vacation is uh, pool time. And Jenny, you can tell these kids are from the farm, is they are throwing the tractor 
Which one? Uh, yeah. So they throw the tractor down and then they, they get it at, from the bottom. Okay, show. He's swimming. He loves to swim. So. <laughs> away we're finally going home and it's not a real family vacation until someone throws up <laughs> someone's a little car car sick i don't know maybe he said he wasn't feeling very good this morning but a little bit maybe some motion sickness but yeah excited to get back to the farm can't wait laundry list i'm going there tonight oh you're joking right i'm joking <laughs> Uh, you do have a laundry list of actual laundry though. Yes, very much so. <laughs> After five days with with all of us together. I managed to wear one pair of set of clothes the whole time. Yeah, well, and me too because I seem to pack for everyone else and get everyone else's stuff in line, but then I forgot all my clothes <laughs> and underwear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be good to be home. So now just, what, another eight hours? I was calculating that we've been driving over the last five days for like 32 hours. I think by the time it'll be 36 hours. That's why my back feels like we've been driving for that long. It's all I've, good. And I've got lots of naps in. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. here for moral support, right? Yeah. Professional navigator. So we're home. We get home today. I'm home for a day to do laundry. And then I go the next day for the last Alberta tour. And then we do Saskatchewan no. the next week. No. And you'll be home every night next week. No. Almost. No. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's been a little bit here, so I thought that I would do a quick video. It was a beautiful day today, We uh, exciting day today. We are going to be officially done, knock on wood, because I'm not yet. So hopefully I didn't just shoot myself in the foot. Hoping to be done fungicide tonight uh, of 2020. We're doing the second half lentils right now. With a little bit of bug spray for the aphids. Uh, today was a beautiful day to spray uh, and it was unfortunate I actually had to run to the city to get some stuff done and grab Jaslyn so Matthew took over and uh, smoked on it and did really good and I'm just on my way back out I'm gonna check a couple crops here and uh, keep going keep rolling on it pretty excited hopefully we can park the sprayer for a couple weeks and enjoy a little bit of time and get some machinery done and get our heads wrapped around uh, harvest that's coming up. It, uh, crops are looking really, really, really good right now. We ended up having a fungicide a lot more than we were initially going to just because it is uh, very, very humid. And we did a petal test on the canola, which you take the flowers off and you get them tested. And uh, you take it to a lab and they do a DNA test on the whole nine yards or whatever. And, it actually came back a uh, really high percentage of inf infections, so uh, we decided to do um, a little bit more than we initiated. And last three or four days, it's been amazing how uh, there's like three airplanes that are is flying within like 20 miles, so it's just how much fungicide is being done. Just lots, everyone's doing it. So, sun shining, it's 26 above, and it's just about 6 o'clock, so a beautiful day. Excited for next weekend is the birthday weekend, so we're gonna have uh, people coming out camping, and like I said, and doing a bunch of stuff like that. Going side by side, and so looking forward to it. 
yards, uh, maybe I can show you a little bit. I don't, I don't know how to flip this uh, when I'm videoing, but my yard is absolutely turned upside down right now. But I am very excited. Hopefully tomorrow I will be able to finish up my landscaping. I'm doing, made a fire, uh, fire pit out of bricks and that turned out really well. And then the last couple days uh, between spraying and the wind and everything, I was doing some landscaping ties with rock and around the house and the deck. It'll uh, smarten it up. It will look pretty good, I think. And I'm actually pretty excited. I did it myself. I didn't think I'd be able to uh, make the cuts and angles and stuff, but it worked out pretty good. So that's what's going on on the Martin Farm, the Martin Kelly Farm right now, anyway. So. I think Matt was off uh, tonight with the boys. Leslie's gone. Uh, I don't know where she went actually, but she did leave today. She, they were just in Edmonton and uh, Alberta, so it sounded like they had a good little holiday. So it's nice for everyone to get away. Well, everybody, I'm proud to say that is the wrap for Fungicide 2020. So I guess the sprayer will be parked for a couple weeks before we do some desiccating. Two, three weeks. Couldn't be happier. Show you a little bit. I just I parked right in front of my house, but show you guys a little bit what's going on here. So Town of Watchers actually gave me a bunch of these light poles. They replaced them in town, so I went and picked up one to see how it's gonna work. But I plan on using about six of them, five of them in my main yard. Uh, one wired direct, but then the rest are going to be. So, uh, I'm going to run solar panel actually to light up the yard for the birthday party, and then uh, maybe next year I might try some for the bin yard. Might be worth investigating, anyways. Like I said, I'm sorry for the mess, but been busy doing some landscaping and getting things tidied up. So just doing that edging. Uh, with timber, four by four or four by three timber, and then I'll put that nice rock inside, all along the house, yeah. Yeah. and then uh, it's a working working progress right now, anyways. But these were my cuts that I was kind of proud. I know it's not much for a lot of people, but for me, I'm not much of a carpenter. So here's the finished product. That's what it'll look like. So spruces it up pretty good actually and I put the mesh down so it doesn't uh, grow any weeds and there's the fire pit I made what do you guys think not bad it's even level yeah the deck that's about 25 year old deck looks pretty good I took the railings off because I was gonna stain it but I haven't gotten to the stain yet so I don't know if it's gonna happen this year put the railing back on and some solar lights and a few little things for the party. Hot tub, it's an old hot tub, but it was redone and works uh, works amazing. Gotta replace the top though, because I think that thing weighs about 600 pounds now because it's so waterlogged, so it takes two people to take it off. Yeah, that's a little bit of the yard anyways. Gonna plant some grass out there next year, and then what the plan is, we're getting a farm sign built uh, this year. We're gonna put it out there and light it up plant grass and then I think I'm actually gonna make a bin zebo like a gazebo made out of a bin and then I'll have the horseshoe pits out there and a few other things for entertaining that's the yard old shop these uh, buildings are actually they're really ratty right now we haven't put any time and money into them for quite a few years this uh, one here is gonna go away here in the next couple of years we're gonna get rid of it um, but this one here it uh, we're gonna tin it and put a little bit of money into it make it the tool shed for this yard um, and keep it going because it's still worth it it uh, something neat is actually my grandpa got these moved in from the town of Renown which is uh, two miles away from here it's nothing but uh, farmland now but back in the day there was a town and these were, I believe, the co-op, uh, co-op lumber shop right there. And I think, uh, I, I can't remember what this was, but I'm pretty sure it was a co-op building. So, kind of neat. Then way down there is the bin yard. Little cattle shed, that's uh, Kona's slash kitty cat slash oil shed right now. 
I got a little room in there and I'm going to make a good dog run outside so she can come through and be inside outside in the winter time. So she'll love that. Kona! Oh, she's in the shade. Come say hi. Kona! Here's Jazzy. Say hi. <laughs> My helper. Alrighty guys, I uh, got some yard work to do so see you She had moving day today. Uh, going to move the old pump house off uh, the well head here that we don't use anymore. Uh, it used to fill or feed uh, Garnet's house, uh, cattle system and that out in, the, out in the yard here. He used to feed everything here in a one centralized well. Um, so it had a pressure system in the well. We're in a separate shack that was heated. So actually we're gonna move the pump house here and use it for a sample shack and uh, in our bin yard just right behind us. So there's one side of the old pump house. I don't mind that, that I moved it and the floor's rotten. I've got some extra tin and we gotta patch it. It's little wore out or er, uh, rotted so we had a guy come around with a little mini hoe and dig all the way around the building to get the at the bottom of the foundation uh, and then uh, yeah I knocked off the concrete on the corner and grabbed it with the loader and just lifted off of the off the concrete foundation so um, yeah I got her up on a tie on one side and then I broke on this side with the door here so we got Keith is gonna come out and help fix it hopefully sheet the floor so the old shed I don't trust to go in there and clean it out the floor is pretty rotten and it's still got a few things in it I'm gonna get her lifted up and moved out of the way and on a set of ties Bobby and I got making magic happen here uh, right now Got the building lifted up on one side and a railway or a telephone pole underneath it. We'll drag it off. And uh, yeah, we're making her happen. Robbie's just scooping a little dirt away with the loader there. Just uh, so we can get in here to get this other tie on. We're going to take up hose moving after all this. You can see, oh, we lost our other tie now. We're making it happen. It might not be beautiful, but we're working. <laughs> <laughs>